welcome. We're glad you're here this evening to celebrate this very special time of remembrance that is called the Lord's Supper or Communion. It's a chance for us to remember. Now, these elements don't have any saving grace about them. They're not anything that secures salvation or guarantees eternity. But rather, they are physical ways for us to remember the very spiritual thing that Jesus did there on the cross. It's significant. It's a way for us to be able to understand a little bit better of who Jesus is and what he does for our life. If you're listening, if you're part of this tonight, we invite you to participate with us. If, if you're a follower of Jesus Christ, if you're a brother or sister in the family, we invite you to be able to celebrate with us, to remember with us at this very wonderful time of the Lord's Supper. Let's have a word of prayer together. Father, thank you. Lord, this evening is a very special time. It's one that marks an old and a new. And Father, in you we know there is hope. Father, we look ahead. Father, we see what's getting ready to happen. And whether it's known or unknown, we know that you're in charge, Lord. And so, Father, this evening, anchor us. Remind us. And help us to be able to see clearly just who Jesus is in our lives. Thank you, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Well, in a few hours, we begin a new year. And I don't think there's anybody that's going to argue that this past year can't end soon enough and the new year begin quick enough. We are ready for the change. We're ready to say goodbye to the old and to welcome the new. And in reality, that is the gospel. That is what we remember here tonight. That is the celebration that is the Lord's Supper. You see, Jesus gathered with his disciples ready for that new. He gathered them there in that upper room, and as they celebrated this very old Jewish tradition called the Passover, well, in the midst of that meal, they remembered God's deliverance. They remember that God had taken them out of Egypt and moved them from slaves to citizens in their own land. And yet through all of that, God protected and God carried and God moved. And the nation of Israel looked back on this moment of Passover as a way to remember their heritage and their legacy. Every year, the people would gather for this very important feast and meal. And this year was no different. There in Jerusalem, just days after that triumphal entry into Jerusalem, Jesus is with his disciples in that room celebrating the old, remembering the old. And Jesus takes that moment to change it. He takes that moment to take those same elements, that same aspects of the feast, and say this is the meaning they have now. This is what they are and this is how they relate to us in who we are. He called it a new covenant, a new promise, a new relationship, not based on keeping the law, not based on sacrifice of bulls and goats, but rather a wonderful opportunity for a new relationship that is ushered in with a new sacrifice, a sacrifice not of some animal, but the sacrifice of the Son of God. For he would soon be walking down that path. He would soon be headed to this place called Golgotha. He was arrested, beaten. He was tried, and then he was executed. A horrible criminal's death, just so that the Jews could be pacified. And somehow in that moment, a far greater thing took place according to God's plan. A new covenant, a new promise, ushered in by a new sacrifice. And that's what we remember tonight. And that's what we share together this evening. On that night, Jesus became our sacrifice, not because we have earned it, not because we deserve it, but because God loved us. So tonight, as you have those elements there before you, 
Now would be a great time to make sure everyone there in, in your living room or around the computer screen, everyone has their own piece of bread. Jesus took that bread that night and he shared that with his disciples. And in the process, he said that this piece of bread had significance, a symbol, a symbol of a broken body, a symbol of that which would one day die in just a little bit. Life would leave that body, and he did that willingly. The agony and the pain that he was going to endure was his heart for us. And tonight we remember that. Paul records the words of Jesus that he used in that time. Words that share with us the meaning and the heart of Jesus. Words that we share together. So as everyone there takes that piece of bread in their hand, listen to the words that Paul shares. For I receive from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread, and when he'd given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And we take the bread. But Jesus was not done ushering in this new covenant he was not done with changing this old and bringing in the new. For Scripture says that Jesus took the cup. And as he shared this, he said, this cup represents the blood of sacrifice. It represents my blood. My blood that flows freely for you. The Creator, the one who made us, born of a virgin, lived a perfect life, would soon die on the cross, his blood spatter to the ground because we could not pay the price ourselves. Because our sin required the perfect sacrifice. And so in him, we do have hope. In him, we do have promise. And in him, there's opportunity for life. As Paul goes ahead and continues on, he says the words that in the same way, after supper he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And we drink the cup. The old is done away. The new order of things has come. And it's not just simply the great big theological picture of all of mankind. It is you and it is me. <laughs> that we leave behind the old. All the things that were, all the things that are in the past. And we reach forward to the new day to the new covenant, to the new promise in Jesus Christ. And this supper reminds us that we are continually in the process of saying goodbye to the old and welcoming the new. Tonight, as you continue a celebration of a New Year's Eve, I wonder if the Lord might not be speaking to you. You know, this really is an opportunity for the family for brothers and sisters in Christ. It has no meaning to someone who's never accepted Jesus as their Savior. Matter of fact, it's easily misunderstood. But maybe tonight is the night for you to begin the new year, not apart from God, but with Him. Not separated from His love, but walking in it. That is found in Jesus Christ. 
you might have some questions. You might have a decision you would like to make. I would be glad to share with you, even this evening, the details of that. I'd be glad to pray with you. I'd be glad to be your friend through the process. Would you email me? It's there on your screen, dbryan at chbcmustang.org. You give me an email this evening, I will do my very best to return it. And we might be able to begin the process to begin a journey together as you discover the reality of Jesus Christ and you move from being a guest or visitor or someone on the outside and you find out what it's like to be family, a brother or sister in Jesus Christ. Church family, thank you. Thank you for your love and your encouragement and support, your faithfulness through everything that's been taking place. And yes, we say goodbye to the old. And tonight, we look forward to the new. Let's pray together. Dear Lord, thank you. Oh Lord, this evening, we do give you honor and glory. For Father, you have made all of this possible, and Lord, your plan has always been that we be this moment right now. Thank you, Lord, for your calling. Thank you for your choosing. Thank you, Lord, for the promise that you provide us. We look forward to the days ahead. We don't know the details, Lord, but we know you, and that will be enough for us. We remember the great gift you gave us. And we look forward to seeing that gift continue to be explored and lived in our lives in the days ahead. Thank you, Lord. It's in your name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.